Dock workers from the Port of Houston and at ports all along the East Coast are planning to strike in less than a week if they fail to reach an agreement on a new deal with the U.S. Maritime Alliance. The workers are demanding pay raises and protections from automation. Several claims on social media are urging people to panic buy supplies that could become difficult to find if this strike happens. Sherman Chow verifies if any ports are alerting the public and if we should be worried about a shortage. There's about a week left to get supplies and prepare for this massive port strike. On TikTok, several videos discuss the possible strike of dock workers. In the comments, some people aren't clear about what is imported at the potentially impacted ports along the Gulf and East Coasts. A viewer wants to know if ports are preparing the public for a possible shortage of imported products. So the question, are Gulf and East Coast ports alerting the public about the potential impacts of a dock worker strike? Among our sources, University of Houston Associate Professor Margaret Kidd, the ports of Houston, New Orleans and Boston, the U.S. Maritime Alliance and the International Longshoremen's Association, or ILA. Now, several ports have posted online about plans if dock workers strike. Port of Baltimore saying the ILA has assured them that cruise operations and military cargo will not be affected if there is a work stoppage. Port of Boston says import cargo will not be allowed to be picked up after close of business on September 30th. That's because the dock workers plan to strike on October 1st if there is no deal with the U.S. Maritime Alliance. That represents employers of 36 coastal ports. Port of Houston is one of the busiest in the nation and tops the nation in the tonnage of material. The reason for that is we ship a lot through our port, a lot of commodities, oil, chemicals, resins, steel. The ports of Houston, Baltimore, and Boston say they are not involved in negotiations, but are preparing, looking at how operations would be affected. So yes, it's true that Gulf and East Coast ports are alerting the public about the potential impacts of a dock worker's strike. According to our expert, there is no need to panic buy supplies. I want to discourage anyone from hoarding, going down through a local HEB or Walmart. You know, we could see some delays up to several weeks to several months. With your Verify, I'm Sherman Chow. Our Verify team is here to help you separate fact from fiction. Send your questions to verify at khou.com.